Hi friends, welcome back. So today we're going to be watching episode 303 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm so freaking excited. Before I start, if you have not seen Angel or if you have not finished Buffy, please don't watch my reaction videos because I have seen the later seasons of Angel, so I do know some Buffy spoilers. Okay, so about them spoilers, I really, really think that we're about to meet Faith. And I am so freaking excited. I have heard of Faith and I know that she was in like one episode of Angel. I feel kind of bad for saying it, but I literally don't remember her episode of Angel. <laughs> so that you guys have an idea of how little I remember, I didn't realize she was a slayer until after I watched Lie to Me. I texted my friend and I was like, bro, what the fuck do you, like a second slayer? What is happening? And she texted me back and she was like, Ma'am, what did you think Faith was? And I was like, what? <laughs> I know that she's somewhat gonna be a badass. I feel like I can expect that based on like Buffy and Kendra. That's kind of what I'm excited about. I am like 100% sure I'm gonna be attached to this character. I just have a feeling inside of me that I'm gonna love her, even though I know nothing about her. 103 is the episode of Buffy that I always go back and refer to, which is the witch. And I love it. And then 203 is fucking School Hard, which is like a badass episode, which like set up the big bad and set up Buffy. And then now, you know, 303, there's a lot of buildup because I guess episodes three are pretty important because the first two are kind of setting up everything. And then now is when we get to see things going. So I, a part of me, wants to believe that this is when they're going to set up the big bad and that maybe Faith is going to be coming as a consequence of that. So we should start. I'm hella excited. Thank you all for watching and let's do this. Let's make Faith. Please, <laughs> please give me Faith. Wow, it's a, also a big step forward. A senior moment, one that has to be savored. You can't just rush into this, you know? Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> you can. Uh, you are. Oh, but no, what if they change the rule without telling? What if they're lying in wait to arrest me and, and, and throw me in detention and mar my unblemished record? Breathe. I'm such a willow. I love her. Ooh, Scott Hope at 11 o'clock. He likes you. He wanted to ask you out last year, but you weren't ready then. But I think you're ready now or at least in the state of pre-readiness to make conversation <laughs> or to do that thing with your mouth that boys like. Oh, I didn't mean that bad thing with your mouth. I meant that little half smile thing. See, you're supposed to stop me when I do that. I like when you do that. Ah, uh, of course. I was like, this is too good. They're just sitting around speaking. What's gonna happen? Please be faith. Please be faith. But it's gonna be a bad guy, isn't it? I don't think Faith is a fancy bitch. We're here for one thing. Kill the Slayer, yeah. Oh, fuck Still. off. Have a nice night, sir. Right back at you. The Slayer. I'm going to rip her spine from her body, and I'm going to eat her heart, and suck the marrow from her bones. No, you won't. Uh, Oh, mother fucker. Man, your nightmares are stressing me out. I had to. Jesus, Angel, dramatic much. Oh God, Angel! Go to hell! Oh Lord! I did. <sighs> wow, that's like having your whole ability to do this job called into question when you think about it. I think what my daughter's trying to say is, na 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 na. <sighs> Damn, Joey, I don't think you would stoop this low. Have you ever noticed, though, when he is mad, but he's too English to say anything, he makes that weird cluck cluck sound with his tongue? Hi, Giles. <laughs> oh, hi. 
Been there long? Buffy, good timing. <laughs> so awkward. Just about half an hour after Xander rescued me. Less. More like ten minutes. Oh, well, was the vortex already open? Barely. I see. And Angel? Uh. Big fight. Angel got the pointy end of the sword. Cothala sucked him into hell instead of the world. That's about the it. You know, small stuff. Floating feather, fire out of ice, which next time I won't do on the I want to see that so bad. Are you mad at me? No, of course not. No. <laughs> if I were, I would be making a strange clucking sound with my tongue. Honestly, them going through what happened with Buffy and Angel makes me so scared that maybe she's going to find out she didn't actually have to kill him or something. I don't know, but just the way that they're talking about it, I'm like stressed out. Wait, wait, is that Faith? Ma'am, wait, is it Faith? Got it. You're uh, Buffy, right? Oh my god! Oh, I'm Faith. Hi! <laughs> Go on a limb and say there's a new slayer in town. Oh my god! This is so cool. This is so bad. Thanks, B. Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Oh my god, I love her already, as expected. Isn't it crazy how slaying just always makes you hungry and horny? <laughs> well, sometimes I, I crave a non-fat yogurt afterwards. I'd say it was um, fortuitous that Faith arrived when she did. Aha! Uh -huh. Sorry, I just <laughs> meant, aha! Uh -huh. There's a big evil brewing. You'll never be bored here, Faith. This is <laughs> Sunnydale, home of the big Brew and evil. I promised Mom I'd be home for dinner. Um, to which you're also invited, of course. Dinner with us. Dying to meet the fam. I'm in. <laughs> Great. Great. Then we can patrol. Also together. No. We're looking at what? <laughs> Does anyone believe that is her actual hair color? I haven't seen him laugh like that. Hey, maybe uh -huh. Faith and Scott could hit it off. I mean, if you're done with him. Not that you used him. Do you like it? God, I love it. Uh, Mom? Uh, just a second, honey. You know, Buffy never talks that way. Why do you love it? Well, when I'm fighting, it's like the whole world goes away, and I only know one thing, that I'm gonna win, and they're gonna lose. I like that feeling. <laughs> well, sure. It's that dead feeling you get when they win and you lose. I don't let that kind of negative thinking in. Right. Right, that could get you hurt. I mean, two of you fighting is safer than one, right? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Unless, I mean, you heard her. She loves the slang. Couldn't she oh, take over she for you? Is. Mom, no one can take over for me. But you're going to college next year. I think it would be... Mom, cool. the only way you get a new Slayer is when the old Slayer dies. And that means you. When did you die? You never told me you died. No, it, it was just for a few minutes. Oh, I hate this. I, I know you didn't choose this. I know it chose you. I have tried to march in the Slayer Pride Parade, but... I don't want you to die. Like you said, I've got help now. <laughs> I've got all the help I can stand. What is it, the, the angel thing? What do you know about Angel? Just what your friends tell me. Big love, big loss, you want to deal and move on, but you're not. <laughs> I got an idea. Ma'am. How about from now on, we don't hear from you on Angel or anything else in my life, which, by the way, is my life. What are you getting so strung up for, B? Why are your lips still moving, F? Is that just your threat? Oh, fuck. Do I do? <laughs> oh my god, I love seeing them fight together already. You'll die. Faith! Oh! Faith, come on, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Faith! 
Faith, what is happening? Jesus, I thought Buffy had anger issues. What is wrong with you? What are you talking <laughs> about? I'm talking about you living large on that vampire. Gee, if doing violence to vampires upsets you, I think you're in the wrong line of work. Yeah, or maybe you like it a little too much. I was getting the job done. The job is to slay demons, not beat them to a bloody pulp while their friends corner me. You know, come to think of it, I, I don't think I've given a fair chance to Buster Keaton. I, I like what I've seen of him so far. I, oh, um, I got you a little so present. so gonna be evil. A guy in a retro shop said that it represents friendship. That's something I would very much like to have with you. Bucky, it's gonna be something real bad. Throw yeah. that thing in a ditch. Oh, shit. I can't. Yeah. I'm fine. Um, d did you reach the retreat? Yes, I did. What did her watcher say? Her watcher's dead. Uh... I want $18 a day. That's every day. Yeah, I know. I'll get it to you by tomorrow, I swear. I was there when he killed my watcher, and I saw what he did to her, what he was going to do to me. I tried to stop him, but I, I couldn't. And I ran. Faith, I did the right thing, okay? You didn't die. Now you do the math. One of him, two of us. Yes. No. This is his place. He drove us here. Fuck! I guess you need a bigger stake, Slayer. <laughs> okay, babe, do it. Do it. Kill him, bitch. Damn. <laughs> That's a big ass stake. Council has approved our request. Faith is to stay here indefinitely and to look after you both until a new watcher is assigned. Good. Uh -huh. She really came through in the end. She had a lot to deal with, but she did it. She got it behind her. I'm glad to hear it. Angel was cured. Oh, we didn't know that? <gasps> when I killed him, Angel was cured. Your spell worked at the last minute, Will. I was about to take him out, and um, something went through him. And he was Angel again. I've been holding on to that for so long. It felt good to get it out. I'll see you guys later. Shit, man. Giles, I know you don't like me playing with mystical forces, but I can really help with this binding spell. There is no spell. What I'm trying to say is um, if you would still like to go to the film festival. And I would understand it if you didn't. I'd pretty much love to go with you. Uh, um, I Please don't, don't make me not going with Faith. I'm really going to have to think about this. This is the first time I've done this. I'm in. When do you want to go? Oh. <laughs> uh, well, I have one thing that I have to do tonight, and then I'm good. I'm so, so, so incredibly worried that he's going to turn out to be a bad guy, but I feel like they they probably want to give her one, at least one love interest that isn't somewhat supernatural. So maybe he is going to stick around for a bit. Um, but what I was going to say that I just noticed is that I think that they really did a very direct way of telling us that Buffy was over Angel by not having her wear a cross. This was like the first time that I remember um, that Buffy's not wearing a cross. She was wearing like a, a necklace with a little heart, which to me, and this is probably me reading into things because when do I not, it, it feels like it's her way of letting go of Angel. Even though that she wasn't wearing the necklace that he gave her, it's still, I don't know, the cross immediately reminds me of Angel. So I feel like this is her way of being open to new people. I don't know. Please tell me she didn't go back to the place where she killed him. 
least Harry's just gonna find out something that's gonna bring him back. Is this it? because of how different they were and it does feel like Faith and Buffy are very different but I thought it was interesting that the resistance was coming from Buffy's side because I don't know I didn't expect that because Buffy is always just so friendly and I love Buffy so much that I feel like she's just nice to everybody like I feel like Kendra was judging Buffy very harshly and now I think Buffy is judging Faith very harshly. They already seem to be a little bit friendly and of course they had a little bit of like discussions and, and problems this episode but I think like that's totally normal. She, she was having the same problems with her friends last episode. It's definitely going to be interesting to see their storyline throughout the season and how their friendship is going to progress or not and personally I have a feeling that they're really going to clash with each other soon because just because they didn't really have the same tension that Kendra and Buffy did, I think they're going to have that sort of tension soon where maybe they're going to have to do a really important decision and they don't agree with each other's decisions and then they fight like really hard and then they go back to eventually being friends and then the friendship develops and stuff like that because they got very close to a fight and for a second there I really thought they might actually fight Oh, and I think they definitely would have if, if no supernatural things came. I also love the idea of Joyce um, telling her like, oh, if, if she's here, does that mean you can stop? And it breaks my heart, but I feel like it's a nice way for Buffy to be reassured of her importance, just in the sense that like, she knows that even if there's a new Slayer, she simply just, she can't let go of being a Slayer. Because I know that she complains about it a lot. I mean, not complains, but I know that she struggles with that part of her a lot. But at the same time, I feel like she, it's only when she has the option to quit and she doesn't that she realizes how much she actually enjoys being a slayer. And, um, you know, Faith was telling her that she needs to learn how to enjoy it more and like get joy out of it and those kind of things. So I think that that's definitely going to be an interesting point of view that Faith can bring to the table where she makes Buffy's appreciation for slaying, like she's able to make her get back into it again, which I think that hopefully she will. This goes back to the idea of I really enjoy how they they really let the repercussions of the actions. They don't simply forget it from one moment to the next. The fact that, you know, Angel died three episodes ago and we still see her suffer. We still see her, um, you know, just having these, these moments where she's just like lost and where she's overwhelmed with emotions because I think that's so true, you know. Grief is not going to be linear, you know, and there are going to be some days where she feels a little bit, you know, like more ready to be in a relationship with the other guy. And then there are some things like seeing a ring that's really going to make her snap. And I think that's totally valid. That's totally normal. But about Faith's backstory, there was like this one little line stuck with me where she says that like something about her mother being dead. In the dinner, I had made the assumption that because Faith was so new to this, maybe she hadn't been through the same amounts of pain that Buffy did just because of the fact that you know Buffy's been doing this for longer of course she's gonna have like lost more people along the way but it kind of seems like Faith has been through a lot and I don't think the Watcher was the first person she's lost and I wonder if her mother was killed by vampires like if this had something to do with her but I think it's like an, an admirable part of her personality that she's able to get through so much and still be positive, not only in her skills, but in life. 
in her job as a slayer, she's, she's a very, very different person than Buffy. They clearly deal with things in very different ways. Like, Faith seems so in control of everything, just like how I was saying that she seems to deal with things. Not necessarily in a better way than Buffy, but I think that there are just some people who have an easier time pretending everything is okay than others. I think Buffy's really been struggling to just act normal, and I think Faith goes through the same sort of internal problems as Buffy, but she hides it better. They did not present me to the big bad. I thought we were going to get a little bit of a glimpse of a big of the bads, and we got none. So maybe they're waiting until she's fully established to present it. I guess because Kendra was so like uptight and like correct. I don't know why I kind of expected the same for Faith. I guess because I didn't know better, like I, I didn't know what else to expect from her. So I kind of like that she's a badass because in a way, I mean of course Kendra was a badass too, but I mean like she doesn't seem like she loves following the rules. Like, that's not going to be a good recipe, that's going to be a recipe for disaster because Buffy doesn't love following the rules either. So they're going to literally drive Giles insane because he's going to be like, don't do it. And then both of them are going to do it anyways. I really just love the idea of the fact that now whenever Buffy's in trouble, I don't have to yell into the void, somebody please save Buffy. I can yell for Faith. I know that Faith is going to be there. I feel like that's just going to be like a weight lifted off my chest, just in the sense of like, now I don't need to be so concerned about Buffy because there's somebody else equally as good who can actually kick some ass and save her when needed. And does she have some slip ups and eventually not actually save Buffy the one time I expected her to? Yes, but we're gonna work on that faith. I have faith in you that you're gonna, you know, get your anger into control and actually become good friends with Bafandra. I don't know why I keep calling Buffy that. I'm sorry. It's just now it's engraved into my brain. I like that they gave us 201 as a way for us to see that Buffy can work on her own and that she's powerful enough to like do whatever the fuck she needs to do without needing anybody and then now they present faith because in a way i think that it was a really set up things just because of the fact that we we know that she can do it alone you know the existence of faith is more of a relief but it's not in the sense of oh if Thank God they brought in Faith because Buffy would never be able to get through this alone. We know that she would, but you know, Faith is just there to help. So I really like that they were able to set that up before. Also, still no Spike and Drew. Bro, what the fuck? Are they gone for reals? Hi friends, what's up? Um, so I'm doing a little like continuation from my previous video just because I completely misinterpreted things. As always, they finished the episode. Um, basically showing Angel and I kind of imagined that it was some sort of like Stranger Things upside down world and that we were just seeing Angel in the other side of the portal but it turns out that we are not and that he is back. I'm so surprised that they actually already have him back. I was expecting them to really keep him gone for a while to keep the mystery, you know, and to keep the grief. Honestly, I really thought they were going to make us go more through the grief phase and the just the tension of having lost Angel, but they really haven't been going down that route. I, I think that they wanted you to think he was alive pretty much since we started the season, which is a little bit of a surprise because I honestly felt like they were going to just keep him dead for so much longer, um, which also just makes me stressed about what else they could do just in the sense of I really thought this was going to be a big, big topic of the season. And even though we are seeing them grieve and obviously this, you know, they, they are exploring some of that. I feel like, you know, there's got to be more shit that's going to come if, if that's gonna be solved so soon. But I feel like the timing was right just in the sense of Buffy and the other guy that she was with. You know, the fact that she finally felt ready to say goodbye to Angel, which was something that I was discussing um, in my reaction to this video, you know, it's that I felt like this was her way of letting go of Angel. And the moment that she lets go of him, boom, he's back. So that's gonna be a shock. I mean, I definitely don't know if he's gonna immediately make contact or if he's somehow gonna retreats back into like his loner side before he maybe he's traumatized or something like but it's gonna be really interesting to see him be the good guy again because i feel like right now in my mind i have so much hatred for angel and angelus just because of everything that happened so it's gonna be interesting for them to finally be able to make me go back to not despising him because i know that he's an interesting character i know that he's an interesting villain 
all that makes sense. But at the same time, after everything he's done, I look at him and I want to punch him in the face. Personally, they're really going to have to work hard to get me to like, like him again. Just, you know, the things that he did cross the line of being redeemable or not. So I'm a little bit worried, but I feel like they're going to do a good job at it. You know, I got a glimpse of it and I only have eyes for you. Just those scenes in between them, they really made me feel things again. And I was like, oh, I guess I do still like ship them. I was talking about me forgetting him, but I think it's also going to be interesting to have to see the characters forgive him because Giles, oh, <laughs> he has a lot. I don't know what noise just came out of my mouth, but Angel has like a lot to apologize for. When he remembers what he did to Miss Calendar, that's not gonna end well for him. I really think that Angel might spiral and actually go a little bit, not like out of control in a murdery vampire way, but in a depression way of like actually spiraling and, and hating himself. It's gonna be hard because I feel like he's gonna blame himself the most and then we're gonna he's gonna need the support of the people around him to say that it was not his fault and that they forgive him and I feel like everyone's gonna be pretty okay with doing that. I think that Jaws is gonna have the hardest time actually forgiving Angel for what he did. But yeah, okay, many much things to explore, hopefully, you know, in the next few episodes. So I'm excited for that. Those are my Angela's thoughts and let's see how right or wrong I get everything. Bye.